so here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a drop-down list in sales for an Excel workbook. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is create my list. So I've created list item one, and now basically I'm going to use the Excel autofill feature to extend that list. Okay, it's not necessary to name the sales, but I like to. So I'm going to click up here and then put my list. And I'm going to press enter, which is a key piece, okay? You want it to accept the name, and if you don't press enter, it won't. It's just one of the million ways that you can actually name a list. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to highlight my cells that need the drop down. And it could be a small number, it could be a large number, it could be the whole column if you choose. Okay, just remember there's a million rows in Excel 2007 and 65,536. I would really evaluate if you really need to go that far. Anyway, bigger file size. Okay, so now we're just going to data validation. That's on the data tab of the ribbon in 2007, but in Excel 2003, it's just go to the data menu and choose validation. In the allow section, I'm going to choose list. And I'm going to click in the source. Now, because I named mine, I just have to hit F3, but of course, if you're just pointing to the range, you could just use the little expand collapse button over there and go grab it. But since I named it, I'm going to press F3. And I'm going to double click my list. And the reason why I named it is so I don't have to go deal with the select and drag. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now I have drop downs. Awesome. So when I come over here, I'm going to put. Um, And then when I go to the pick from the list, there it is. I mean, think about that. I hope you love it. I do. I could have used this a million times. Anyway, data validation basically does that. It just makes people choose something from the list so that they're not guessing what to put in. And if you've ever done any reporting, a data entry person guessing just means more criteria to write when you report off of it. I hope this example works for you, and uh, if you like it, let me know.